Hi friends, welcome back. I am Wicked Crafty Mom, also April, and today we are going to make some notebooks. So, having said that, I have glue pages that I just folded in half this way, obviously. This way. And um, I, we're just going to decorate these for the covers and cut some papers to size. Now, just because... I'm going to use these notebooks. Um, I'm going to use lined paper. And I'll just set that over here. Oh, I glued something to myself, evidently. Surprise! Okay, so we'll just get started. Um, and so this is another scrap buster. Because I seem to be doing those a lot lately. So I'm just going to start collaging. I did set my timer. Yay. Okay. So. I was just trying to convince my husband that pajama pants are the way to, ro way to go. He said, you just haven't given pajama pants a chance. He said, no, I've tried pajama pants. And I said, no, as a lifestyle. That's where I'm at, man. He's talking about me needing to get, like, real pants. That just makes me sad. <laughs> I love pajama pants. Love pajama pants with all my heart. Okay. So I'm just putting whatever I grab on here. Whoops. I got a big old chunk of glue on here. There. My hands are sticking to everything and I just started, so that's, you know, that bodes well for the rest of my life. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm just grabbing stuff. Might as well just grab. Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. This is my Elmer's glue all in the little tipped bottle. And since this is a little bit thicker, I'm gonna use this to adhere it. Just cause it makes it stronger, I believe. Do, do, do. Here we go. Put that. I'll put that off to the side until I need it again. So this is, I mean, sometimes I use um, sometimes I use, <sighs> words are hard, collage pages, like strictly collage pages, so I just, um, stick those on, but this time I'm going to collage it, and then maybe we'll do one with the collage page stuck on, we'll see. Let's see how we go. But right now, whoops, that's trash. I don't need that. Right now, I'm just gonna work on, this is gonna be the front cover. Oops, let's go this way. Let's, hmm, that's a tricky. So I'm gonna do this, cause I really like this um, cut out there and I want it to be part of the collage. See, I got more papers here. I'm going to do all sorts of different covers, I think. Um, I guess I didn't need to do that whole thing. Whoops. It'll be fine. Okay. There's that. Let's save the collage for just a little bit. Let's see. Some music page here. I can stick that on just a little bit. Oh, 
Oh, it's I didn't even stick the music page side on I'm like a dope. Oops, stick, stick. You can do it. Just stick. Thank you. Much better. Okay. Now I'm going to use music page. How's that? Right there. And it'll look like music page too. It was very funny because I was watching one of Pam. It's a paper outpost. I was watching one of her videos and she had put in one of her books some music paper that I actually have from a book that I have. So I thought that was funny. That I recognize, like of all things, the music on this sheet. And it wasn't like, I mean, it may have been common a while ago, but it's not common music now. I don't think so. Um, yeah, it was just funny to see. Okay, I'll let this dry for a little bit. And then we'll cut it. So, next one we'll do, I don't know why I turned it like that. Next thing we're going to do is take just a piece of paper and put this behind me to dry. I'm not even 10 minutes in, friends. Not, okay, Adolf Hitler. Oh, Hocus Pocus, though. Hocus Pocus. Yeah, I'm saving that. It says nonsense word. That's lies. Hocus Pocus. Which one? 625, 626. 627. Hocus Pocus. Yep. Alright, so I'm going to keep this because Hocus Pocus is one of my favorite movies. And so I want to keep the... There. I want to keep the, the word here. Hocus Pocus. Words, I guess. Um... And I'm just going to clip them together and set them aside because that is what I need to do. There. Clip them together, set them aside. And then I'll look at them later and be like, why do I have these set aside? No idea. Okay. Sorry. Just wanted to get that done. Now this time, because the paper, basically I glue the smaller thing. So in this case, the smaller thing is the folded over book page um, card. And um, let's see, I don't know where my smoosher went, but as soon as I find it, I will be happy. Uh, scissors. Dun, da, da, da. All right. Oh, so I am very excited because they announced last week, I think it was maybe a couple weeks ago. I don't know. I'm very bad with time, um, but they announced that Mel Brooks is going to be producing History of the World Part 2. And ever since I saw History of the World Part 1, I've been waiting because it, at the end of History of the World Part 1, they show, you know, clips from History of the World Part 2, and it was like Hitler on ice, and, um, I don't know, there's a bunch of stuff. So they made it sound really exciting, and then they never did anything. But he also did that with Spaceballs 2, The Search for More Money. He says it in the movie, and I bet you it's never going to happen, which makes me sad because... That would be a good one, too. I would love to see the, 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 everybody who could get back together to do um, space balls. That would be amazing. That would be my favorite. Okay. This is almost exactly the right size, actually. So that's cool. So we'll do that next time. Um, but right now, I'm going to grab a different page. Not this, because I really like that page. And I need it to be, I need a page I can cut up. Okay, so this is one side, and this is gonna be another side. So again, the glue page is the smaller 
piece. So that's what I'm going to glue. This book is really cool. It's, um, I got it at our dollar store and it's talking about how to come to the United States and it's written in Spanish and I think that's really neat. Um, you, you, okay, so there's that. Now, I'm going to let that dry for a little bit after I cut this out. We'll get back to that first one and glue a piece of paper into that. Okay. Oh, I did this a little wrong, but I'll and I'll tell you how, what I mean by that. Uh, actually, I think it'll be fine. But. What I was thinking I did wrong was not um, just putting two separate panels and leaving a little gap here on the spine, but it'll be fine. I'll make sure it's fine. It'll be fine. I'm probably going to sew this during this video. We'll see. We shall see. So, there's one cover. Let's grab this one again. Trim it off. I know I'm very scattered. It's probably kind of weird uh, watching me jump around on screen, but I do also like to have things that um, that are drying. I like to give things time to dry when I can, because it makes it easier to like cut it out and stuff like that later. Okay, there's one side. Now, let's get this other side. We'll do... Alright. Um, no, not that. Let's see. I'm just looking for different scraps. Let's do... That one's too thick. Let's do this. Iced green tea. Oh, and tea, and raspberry tea, and cranberry tea. All right. So, glue the smaller thing. So the 18 year old is getting driving lessons from dad, his dad, not my dad. So they went out and did that this morning. It seems to have been a success. Everybody came back just fine. So that's good. So now they get to do it a ton more times go out and dry. Alright. There's that. Okay. I'm going to fold this. It's wrinkling already, I can see. But I'm hoping it'll fix itself. not great but it's fine I'm just gonna be using these for myself so I'm not super duper worried about it all right now we've got this one this piece the collage that's already complete oh whoops nope remember do the smaller one and then I'm gonna try to remember to do inside with a gap in the middle and maybe some washi tape okay here we go there's that I've got a, it looks like I've got enough for a second one possibly if not I can just make this cover into 
That's a little short, but I can still make it into one. There's that. It's a little bit, a little bit bigger there. Okay. Now, let's see. Cut the margin off because I might as well. So, let's try this. I'm going to fold it, and then I'm going to mark where the fold is, it's right up against these words. Okay. think this will be good. I'm just trying to make two little um, inside covers separately instead of using one. So we'll do this like that and then like that. Okay. This time these papers are the littler ones. So I leave it a little overlapped because I want to make sure I can cut it off. Okay. I'm going to take my bone folder and hope I don't tear this paper. I've done that before with my bone folder when I, whew, when I uh, get a little zealous about flattening it. that again because I don't know where my smusher is. I wish I knew where my smusher was. Oh yeah. Jazz hands. Okay. Always want to make sure I always just leave a little bit so that I can have so I can cut it exactly where I need it afterwards probably just said that, but I don't know if I ever finished my thoughts, so I'll finish it now, just in case. Just in case. <clears throat> oh, and History of the World Part 2 is going to be a television show. So that is also exciting. Super exciting. Hey, you're supposed to be glued, dude. Get glued. That sounds like an insult. I kind of like it. May your fingers be ever gluey. That would be a good curse. Um. Okay, so that's done there. Oh, right. I want to put... Come here. All right, I'm going to take all of these. I know I'm going to make more, but I'm because I'm only at um, 20 minutes in, but I definitely forgot to do this, so I want to do it now. Okay, so I'm going to just grab some washi, basically, at this point. Okay, there's one, and I'm going to do the same length-ish estimate it, do it by eyeball for the second one. And glue it down with glue stick. Sometimes I use my art glitter glue or my glue all, but these are definitely getting sewn. So this will work. And then I just take whatever excess I cut off and maybe I can use it somewhere else or 
I definitely use it to decorate a card with little washi ends on it. That's what I've been doing. Okay. So. It's a little crooked, but now you can't tell. Whoops. Stay glued, please. Let's just stay open and glue, glued. Okay. Glued is good. Stay. Just stay. Okay. Let's see. I got llamas. I love my llamas. Okay. Almost out of llamas. Got a sick kiddo home again today. He's still got a sore throat. <laughs> Sorry, I was talking, but I forgot. Yep, so we'll see what happens with that. All right, there's that. All right, let's, whoops, just gonna grab this. I'm not even going to glue this one. I'm just going to stick it. Again, I will be... Oops. I will be sewing these. There's one. a lot more like covers I think all right I want to no I got 10 more minutes before what I want to do all right cool so I love having my corners chomped let's do this one with the half inch like that and let's do this one quarter inch again. All right. Got three covers here. So when I sew, I'm going to sew around in a square and then sew around in a square. That's exactly what I did on this one. You can see it here. I went around in a square. And then I did the same on this side. And then I sewed the pages in on the seam. So that keeps them very well together. So I'm gonna cut, how about I sew this first? Let's sew this real quick. I am going to pause the video and sew this. Okay, so I've got this sewn just around these the two sides of the book cover. Let's move this out of the way. So we'll do the next step. So I want 20 pages in here. So I can get one, two, I can get two out of each. So I need 10 sheets. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm winning. Okay, there's that. So this is how I measure. 
Are you ready? Line it up best you can. Now I want it to be a little bit smaller than the cover here and a little bit smaller than the cover here. So this line is actually exactly where I want to cut. So I am going to cut there. Now, same thing with this one. This line is pretty much where I want to cut. So let's see if I can get one. I can. I can get three out of each. So I'll have some extra pages and that's totally cool. So basically, um, let's do it this way. So I want to make sure that it's as straight as possible. And I don't want to cut them all at once with scissors because that's a pain in the butt. So I'm going to fold this up for just a minute so I can cut these. Nope, you just, there you go. Park your little behind right there. All right, let's see, I'm going to grab my ruler and my cutter and hope I'm on, I am, okay, I'm on screen. Cool beans. So I'm going to go to this line, line up my ruler, move out of the way, cut away from myself. All those rules for knives. Follow all the rules. Okay, so there's one batch. There's another batch here. Line it up. Move out of the way and cut. And I just go lightly. Well, no, I don't. I don't. But I don't go like gouging it in. I just go until it's done cutting, I guess. Okay. Now, we'll get this much better. That's my glue page. Okay. So now I've got these ends all the right way and the ones the size with holes all this way. Right? Yes. So I'm going to I'm going to take 20, or yeah, 20, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, put those up there for now. So here's my 20 pages. So now, this would probably work easier if I had a template, but I don't. So now I'm just going to fold it until it looks like it'll fit in here, basically. That's how I do that. Okay, let's fold it over. This is the line that I need to cut. Oh, let me try this again, because I didn't like that that way. Let's see. Put you down, line you up. Okay. There's my cutter. Blade's closed while I'm doing this part. There. Oh, I'm gonna cut through my paper. Whoops. Get out of there. I didn't open it very far. There we go. There's that. So I've got my, my notebook paper. Next thing I do is slowly and carefully, I sew. But, oh, here's the first thing I do. That was a lie. Okay, I've got stuff I do first, but hold on, I gotta pause it for a second and find something. Okay, I found it. I have this bag of ties that I have made for journals, and I think uh, this will fit. Yep. Okay. So what I'm going to do, <coughs> and I don't know if this is how I'm supposed to do it, but what I'm going to do, I got a cough.
just coughed and then now I'm recording again. I goofed. I coughed and shut it off instead of turning it back on. Like a dope. Alright, so I am just using my pin like I would on any sewing project and holding my cord here like this because now I'm going to line this up the way I need it again which is fine and I'm going to hold this like this I take these and I tuck them under if I can just to make sure they're not flapping around getting all sewn places they're not supposed to so this is how it looks when I go to sew it now I'm going to sew it be right back I probably could have done it with the camera going because it was a quick thing. But now it is, oops, it's a little tangled here. But I think that's just a string that came through. Weird. I'm going to cut them off because it's going to be my notebook and it's not a huge deal to me. There. Now I'm going to take the pin out and it, I, it went over it just fine. There's that. And now I can tie this up like that. But we are not done yet. No, we are not. Okay, because we still got 26 minutes. All right, I'm gonna grab, this fell over, my cat knocked it over. So this is all d discombobulated. That's a little big for what I want. Oh, this is cute. I think this is one of, I think this is from Pam, the paper outpost. I think it's one of her digitals. Okay. Pretty sure. I don't know. I don't know. All right, my knife is going away. All right, so I want to ink this because I like to ink everything. Aha. Oops, hello scraps. All right. Quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch. All right, now we're gonna, now we're gonna We are just gonna go and ink the whole cover here, the edge, edges, because I like ink, and just for fun. It doesn't take that long to ink, just the cover. And then the inside. There we go. Okay, so there's that. Now, I'm gonna ink the card. I think I did a video of making these before, but I'm not 100% sure. I've gotta go through my videos and keep better track. Um, so I'm gonna do that. All right, this is Ready to go on. There we go. Got my Elmer's glue wall. Okay, there's the front. Maybe I could have put something behind it, but um, maybe next one. Now I'm looking because, whoops, I'm knocking the, knocking things around. I've got labels here. I have labels here that I made. Or that I, sorry, that I have ready. Some of them I made. Not all of them, though. Um, looking for smallish ones that I can. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. This one jumped out. Let's see if, I, if this is. 
Oh, come on. Nope. So, my cat knocked over all my clusters. <laughs> I had to pick them up off the floor. That was fun. These are Roxy labels. Whoops. I have to... I don't know what's going on here, but I don't have the patience to do it right now. I gotta fix this later. My Roxy labels are all falling out. Okay. All right, that's a good label, except I'm gonna cut out the outline part. Let's see. There's that. And this I printed on cardstock back when I was printing on cardstock before I realized I could just put book page behind everything to thicken it up. It's a little more hassle, but not enough that it bothers me. Okay, so here's that. Let's ink it up. See how it looks. Bet you it looks awesome. What do you know? It looks awesome. I'll do it like that. Maybe like that. Yeah, like that. Okay. So now I can write whatever I'm going to write on here. And there, that is a notebook. Complete. Complete. All right. ready to go and I'll I'll put my stuff I'll put it with my other blank notebooks that I'm waiting to use or that are waiting to be used I guess okay so next all right I need 20 notebook papers one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need ten more papers. One, two, no, I don't. I need five. Four, five. Now, some this one has paint on it. Okay. Let's see. I'm just going to do this. that line. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. This line. Okay. And then this line here. All right. Oops. I think I just marked the wrong one. No, I didn't. I'm good. I'm all set. Okay. So, we'll cut it real quick. I could rip it too. Why don't I just rip these ones? That'll work. That'll be fine. That's what I'll do. That'll teach them. There we go. And there. Now, these ones are going to be a little bit different. Why are these so much smaller? I don't know. Different papers, maybe? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That works. That's all I need. Let's get all the... Let's get all the sides on the same side like that okay now when I did this one time before I just went and pulled all this off before I started measuring for pages so let's do that okay here's that There. I kind of 
do a lot of this by, I don't know, I wouldn't say by feel, but I do a lot of it by eyeballing it. Smaller sections are easier to rip, especially when you've just been ripping big sections. I think I'm a little crooked on this one. And I apologize. There, that's better. Okay, so we got another cover here. So I am going to quickly sew around this. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. And these pages are ready to go in. This is sewed. Let's see, I'm just gonna, oh, I don't, I need a, you know, a thing. Okay. So these are just pieces of like, this is some fabric I coffee dyed, this is a t-shirt that I cut up, and that, I like the t-shirt ones because they're nice and stretchy for the notebooks, so if you were to tuck things inside it or whatever, you could easily do that, because it'll allow for it. Alright, so I've got to... I'm take this off for a second. All right. So there's my middle point. Grab my pin. My on screen. Yep. Cool. Pin it. It doesn't have to go through the whole cover. It really only needs to go through the tape, to be honest but it'll probably go through other places. So, um, just trying to keep this out of the way while I'm sewing. There we go, like that. We'll do that. And now, oops, here we go, like this. And I'll sew. Oops, I had it not quite centered. All right, it's gonna, you're gonna hear machine. Oh, it's not loving the pin, not loving it. There we go, I think we're past it. Nope, not there. Just lock it in real quick. There. Okay, so now other than being tangled up in the strings from sewing it on the binding. Okay. Uh, oh, I sewed that one a little off, I think. But also, I haven't really pushed this down or made it be in its place for very long. Okay, so let's grab another, another something to put on the front of this one. Let's see. Yeah, these are book plates from Pam at the Paper Outpost. Let's put on this peach cake one. This is not from that. I don't remember where I got this. But I like it. It's cute. I'm going to use... Where are you? Where are you? Here you are. Can you move this? Sorry. I know it's kind of a mess over here now. Right. These are... I don't know if there's like a smaller increment um, corner rounder, like for smaller corners. Um, I haven't seen any, but I gotta look specifically. I haven't seen any that caught my eye, I guess is what I would say. Oh man, I just, that looks so much better when I put actually put ink on it. <laughs> like when I press down to grab the ink. 
been putting too little ink on my friends too little look how nice that looks surprisingly a lot darker than I thought it was when you put it when you get a good amount on okay this is salvaged patina distress ink distress oxide distress oxide there okay here's that and that and now oh that's so cute love it let's glue where are we at four minutes or nine minutes nine minutes okay sun's right in my eyes right now so okay come here peach cake there you go there's that and I am looking specifically for a little blank piece of paper like this this is what I'm going to use for journal just to say journal on it actually I'm going to trim it down a little bit like that and I'm going to ink it up a little bit like that that's so pretty okay there and then I've got purple here this is just a regular purple pen. And this way I can write what the journal is for. So I know. Because I need everything labeled. <laughs> okay, there's that. I am going to glue this down with this glue because it's very thin paper and should stay on very easily, I think. If not, I'll re-glue it. There's that. Okay. That's a second one that we've made. Nice little 80 page notebooks because what you do is you take the amount of papers you put in and because you're folding them in half and each half has two sides, you've, you're gonna multiply it by four. So if you're putting in 10 papers, you multiply that by four and you get 40 pages. That's how that math works. That's super cute. I like that. It's going to be awesome to use that. Let's see. Let's see if we can whip out one more in seven minutes. I'm going to pause stuff and sew around this again. All right. It is sewed down the middle. I'm going to grab some pages. Again. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it doesn't bother me that there are pages that they have different. Like one of these is, I think, oh, maybe they're both wide ruled. I thought, yeah, some of these are college ruled, some of them are wide ruled. That's fine. do this another way again I'm gonna do just keeping my eye on that line because I'll forget which one and have to figure it out again because that's my MO okay here is one batch of pages And now, grab the second batch of pages, like this. So this line. <laughs> this line. Okay. And put 
that back. Oh, I don't know why I put it back. I still need it. Put all the holes on the right side. Okay. And... I'm going to do this this way. Measure just a little inside of where you think your, your paper is going to end. And then make sure you're straight on, if you can. Can't always. I try. Okay, where are we at? Four minutes left. Okay. I'm going to take this. Now, you don't have to sew a tie on these either. And for some reason, like, my machine is doing just fine with 20 pages. Um, I wouldn't do any more than that per little booklet here, but 20 pages seems to be good. All right, where's my pin? Here's my pin. I left it down here this time. Do, do, do. All right, let's go for... Hmm. Hmm. I do this one. There. Put that on. Line these up. So when I went over the pin, I just had to kind of nudge it a little bit, kind of hop, hop the foot right over the pin and start up again, um, but it works. So get these loose strings off here, or you can decorate them, whichever. Okay, now we need a cover and then we're done. Two minutes. We can do a cover in two minutes. That should be easy peasy. I've got an envelope in here somewhere that has a bunch of memes that I printed off the internet. And I did that so that I could use them on just my private little journals. But I don't know where my envelope went with the memes in it. Okay. Let's see. I'm looking for something that would be... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a cluster on. As soon as I remember where I put my clusters. All the way across the room. Never mind. I'm not going to put a cluster on. Because we've got two minutes. So, let's put... Ooh, I like this one. This is what's going on. This is lovely. Okay. I'm going to ink this in black, but I'm not going to ink the book. Yes, I am. Who am I kidding? Let's ink the book. All right. Inside. I'm not going to ink all the pages, though, that's for sure. Here's this. And if I happen to make it a little bit darker, I try to spread that out, like if it started fading. A little bit. 
And then I gotta grab my labels. 15 seconds left. I'm gonna pause it. I'm just gonna finish this up and then we'll be done. That's what's gonna happen. That's how that's gonna work. Okay. Cute. I really like this. I like this glue being stuck less. Now I had printed this on some of my coffee dyed paper on the back in case I was going to just stick it in as just a regular card, but I am not doing that right now. So, so put that back on for a second and look for a label that's small enough to fit. And that is the trick, isn't it? Come here, label. Anywhere. Hello, label. Oh, I've got more things in here that I can use. That's awesome. That I didn't realize I had. Is this? Oh, I like it. Love it. Okay. One. We'll do this. Sometime I'll have to finish cleaning and then I'll show you what I did with, um, with my desk. Take you on a desk tour again. So I switched some stuff around. Kept others the same. Kind of took the time that I was moving to get some stuff rearranged, but I still, moving the desk. But I still want to um, continue organizing. So I'm going to do that. I think this week I'm going to start up with Tidy Friday again. Because I liked that. Kept me motivated. Okay. So there is that. Now, this just ties. This is a piece of a shirt that I loved. I'm having issues. <laughs> oh well. It'll be fine. Just pull. Okay. Cool. So that's super cute. And then there's this one that we made. Whoops. And this one that we made as well. So, oops, clear the decks. Let's try this again. Clear the decks. Clear the decks. Come on, glue pen. There we go. Clear the decks. All right, this is what we made today. 80 pages in each, and they're super cute. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.